Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're in our garden today. Uh, we've had such extreme heat that everything is just is burning up everything. Uh, we've got a video coming up about that probably here in the near future. Um, our time is up on our peanuts and we're going to be checking them to see how they are. And uh, They've through blooming. We've got a week of extreme, extreme temperature heat coming. Now would be the time. No rain in the forecast in the next 10 to 15 days. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to look at these and see if they're ready to come out. Now these are the Virginia Fancies. Uh, we've grown these for many years. We save our own seeds. And we're going to see how they're doing in this extreme heat. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling our peanuts up here and just see what we've got, guys. We're hoping for a good harvest this year. You want to take your time and kind of be kind of slow because you don't want to break them off in the ground. The good thing about us is our soil is pretty sandy here. We're just going to take and come around from the outside here and we're going to see, make sure we're not leaving nothing. I'm going to kind of come around. Uh, we've got some grass trying to hang in here. We can get this one plant. Let me just get one plant up here. Okay. Looks like we got some decent peanuts on them. They look like they're doing pretty good. Get out of here, Hank. Go now. Hank here trying to investigate everything. It looks like we got not what I'd like to see, but we hadn't had good weather this year anyway for growing peanuts. So it looks like what's there is good peanuts. They look like they're they're fairly decent ones. So we're gonna pull another plant up here and just check. I always kind of like to take my hand, see like this here? You take your hands and go back. There's always gonna be a few that pulls off, like there. I don't want to waste them. Looks like that was pretty much, you see how dry it is. I see that pull too like that there. I try to watch as I'm pulling to make sure I don't leave something out there. Look at that. Now that's what we're looking for. That's a good that's a good peanut there now. A good size. Good a bit of them on there. That's nice. That's some good peanuts. One other thing, guys, is these peanut vines makes good fodder for your animals, too. Uh, if you got cows or uh, goats or sheep or anything like that, this peanut fodder makes really good hay once it dries out. There we go. Look at that. That's nice.
the other one. Guys, we decided to come to our sweet potatoes and check them out. And what do I find here? In my sweet potato patch. You see that right there? You know what that is? That's rat holes. That tells me that rats are probably going underneath here and eat all my sweet potatoes up. They did that to us once before. Um, I feel a sweet potato under there. I don't know if the rat's still in there. Or it goes way in there. Or what? But I Leave do that feel potato up and let's see what if they eat the bottom off. Well, I think I think maybe we might should just dig a plant and see. What do you think? I think so. Let's just see. These are the white ones now. Cause that's right where his hole is. He had a hole right here. Let's see uh. It's still going. Let's just take a plant here. Let's sacrifice a plant to see. Let's get this plant up. Let me dig. Ooh, what a potato. Whoa. Look at that white sweet potato, guys. Look at that. That's nice. That's well worth sacrificing. It goes right under the rat hole. Look at that. He hadn't eaten them. He jumps out of here on me now. I'm going to get it on film, baby. Just keep going. Whoa, that's got to be a daddy. Oh, no. Oh, it's a little bitty, but there's another one inside of it. Broke off. There's another piece. There it is. It's not bad off that plant. No. If you know me, I always like to check all around. Okay. So he didn't eat them even though his hole was He had there. a hole there, but he didn't. Didn't eat those plants. Look at this. That's a meal for us. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful white potato. Okay, so... We sacrificed a plant, and uh, even though there was a rat hole, he didn't get the he didn't get these. There may be other ones, but he didn't get these. So we're thankful for that. And, and we've got all these. All of them up there are red. These, these down, are all white here. This and then we've got these down here. These down here are all red. So Papa, we supposed to be digging potatoes. Well, according to this. Uh, they ought to be getting close. So, almost tater digging time, boy. Well, we decided to come to the garden this evening, over by the cabin. And we got some okra. Got banana peppers all down in the bottom of it. So, a few peanuts in there. Now we got a few potatoes. A few more peanuts up there in the truck. So guys, looks like we're going to have another meal at Deep South Homestead. Okay, we've got the peanuts over at the house now. Uh, we got, we're laying on the handrail right here. We're looking and um, we know it's time to dig them. We're seeing some issues here. Uh, I don't know if it's fire ants, wood lice, or whatever it is. They're boring holes through them. I mean, there's nothing in it. It's just, there's nothing there. We, just, we got several of them on here like that. Here you can see where something's bored into it and eat all the, the goody out of it. Another one here. Uh, but it looks like, for the most part, they're pretty good peanuts. Now, these are the Virginia Fancies. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at this. Big old big old jumbo peanuts. Uh, nice looking peanuts there. Filled out well. It's getting time. It's dry. Uh, if we wait till it rains, they might try to sprout in the ground. So I think we may try to go ahead and get them uh, up out of the ground. We wanted to pull a few and bring them to the house here and just kind of get a look at them. Okay, this is about, they've been in the ground now about 120 days. Um, we're going to let them dry for probably a week out of the rain. Of course, we don't have any rain coming for a week, but we're going to have them hang and dry for about a week. And then we're going to pull them off 
and we're going to store them. Now you can, once you do that, you can uh, you can parch them. But now, technically speaking, you could take them just like this right here once you harvest them um, and let them set for a couple of days. You can go ahead and boil them and make boiled peanuts or anything like that out of them. You can parch them once you've cured them. They can they can be parched. Just you can once they dried completely, you can make peanut butter out of them if you wanted to. Um, but we didn't plan enough this year to really do a whole lot with, so we probably won't have a 50-pound bag of them, maybe. Um, so we're going to try to just keep them for fresh use. We'll probably boil a few, parch a few, put them up to keep for when the cold weather gets here and we have a fire going, we can put them by the fire and parch them and just have parched peanuts or something like that. So um, just wanted to show you all our peanut crop this year and show you how it's been doing here at Deep South Homestead. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.